You go through the middle? That's fine. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. Patera with you. We're taking hay, we're taking all sorts of stuff over to the new farm. And guess what we're gonna get? I guess I better get mighty good at making mighty fine brownies. No. I don't know what they are. They're mixed with something. No. They might be, they might be. Oh my gosh. Well, somebody asked me if I got turkeys today, and I said no, but look what ended up happening again. <laughs> they gave me some turkeys to go with my peacock. <laughs> you're going to like where you're headed, buddy. You're going to like it. <laughs> Where'd you go? Honey, your hair looks good today. You got the farm look. Okay guys, we're at the farm and look, I'm getting silky eggs now. And Miss Scarlet has given me three eggs so far this week. I think she's happy. I think she's happy. Uh-uh. more jeans. So here's the deal. So yesterday, for the second time in a year, my three-year-old washing machine that has a five-year warranty decided to stop draining and spinning or spinning and draining or whatever it does. We went three weeks last year without a washing machine that was working. And so we had to go to the laundromat, which you know for a lot of folks is not a big deal and it's really not. But when you do probably between five and seven loads of laundry a day, it is a big deal. And here at the house, they left these much, 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 much older washer and dryer because they moved and they got a new one, which a lot of folks do. I don't know what year these are. I would say they're at least 20 years old. Gotta be. Still working. None of that fancy, jazzy sensor stuff. I'll stop talking now. See? Not built to last anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yesterday we had to run to Home Depot for one item. <laughs> and right in the middle of the aisle, they had these back in stock. And so many of you have been asking me about my gloves. They are the Firm Grips. You get three in a pack for $9.97. I got a whole three pack at Christmas for like seven bucks. It was a Christmas special they were doing and we are wearing them out. And the reason I love these is because they're not only are they comfortable, got great grip, but I wash them. I wash the dickens out of these gloves. So I bought two more packs yesterday because all of us wear these, me and the boys, we all wear these gloves and we love them, love them, love them. Home Depot, Firm grip. They don't have the elastic the doodilly at the top that goes around your wrist. They do make those. These are just the more basic slide-ons. They are fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. Home Depot. Okay, I was telling some folks earlier that sloggers, some folks were asking me also about my boots. Where do I get my chicken boots? You can get them at Tractor Supply. You can get them at Amazon. I may have a link below in the description. Folks, I've been wearing sloggers for years. I have this brand and another big brand of boots, and I love them for heavy-duty rain, snow days, but honestly, that's like two days a year. These are the ones I always grab, and I love to wear the merino wool socks. This is a great brand. They're not expensive, and I wear them in the summer and in the winter. And I had an extra box full because I bought buy them for Christmas presents. So I had a couple pair left. Got to get some new socks on. Let's get them open. All right. Zeus is his name. <laughs> he is one years old. One year old. One years old. One year. Yeah. So we're about to get him out and put him in his new spot. I think he's a little nervous, as he should be. That's expected. So we're gonna get him set up and very happy. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay, got it. 
I need you to hold the back of that. Oh, right here. Oh, the bolt. Yeah. Okay, got the bolt. Got the bolt. Yep, gonna have to make sure the netting's good on this boy. He is ready to fly. He's gonna be singing a country song, ready to fly. Is that one right there? Okay, so what we've done is we brought a bunch of these kennels that we had at the former homestead and we've brought it to the new farm. We're gonna use these for our dogs. We've used them for our black copper morans. We use them for black orpingtons. Very, very, very multifaceted in terms of how you use them and what you use them for. This is gonna be used for the peacock, Mr. Zeus. So we brought it into the edge of the barn. This is where our cows and Cochise and goats and whatnot are going to be. So he's gonna have a lot of company. I know I said I've got those little turkeys, but turkeys are not going in with the peacock, but we got turkeys today with the peacock. So that was a very nice treat. So we've added the bird netting on top. You probably cannot see it. So that's being reused from the other homestead as well. We've had to zip tie a few little holes or this or that or the other. You can get this anywhere, okay? So this was on this kennel. We took it down, we've kept it, and we've reused it and repurposed it. Then we also have his perch, fresh straw, his feed, special feed, of course, different than chick feed, and water. So let's get him in here and let him start snacking on his grains. <laughs> okay. It was a good little wrestling match to get him in here. He's nervous. He should be. It's a new place, new home, new environment. New environment. So we're going to leave him alone for a few minutes. Let him chill. And let him strut his stuff a little bit. And we'll keep you posted on Mr. Zeus. This is an exciting addition to Appalachia's homestead. Whew. Okay, so I'm just in the driveway, people. Like six feet. So we got Zeus in. I'm going to bring up some blocks and some fencing. We took off 40 bales of hay. I'm going to stop. And the gutter people have shown up. <gasps> Magic. So they're going to be verifying size and color. And they're starting to measure. So gutters are coming. guys so what we're going to do next is we're going to put the wiring all underneath right there and then we're going to fortify it again with center blocks so we have a lot more work to do but we wanted to take you along for the journey and show you our new additions to the farm we appreciate you watching here at Appalachia's homestead and yes James is going to have an endless supply of delicious brownies don't you worry we'll see you on the next video